Go into the arts. I'm not kidding. The arts are not a way to make a living. They are a very human way of making life more bearable. Practicing an art, no matter how well or badly, is a way to make your soul grow. For heaven's sake. Sing in the shower, dance to the radio, tell stories, write a poem to a friend, even a lousy poem. Do it as well as you possibly can. You will get an enormous reward. You will have created something. So that was um, Kirk Vonnegut from his book A Man Without a Country. And I'm John Fanning and this is the Create with John Fanning podcast. How's it going? Uh, how are you all doing out there? Hope you are all doing well. Um, this is episode one of my first ever podcast, or more a, well, and a short introductory episode uh, to let you know who I am and why I'm doing this podcast and what's going to be in it, basically. That kind of overview. So, me, uh, I'm... I'm an author, uh, mostly novels, literary, which is a daft word in itself or adjective, uh, but seemingly describes what I write. Um, And as you can probably guess from my accent, I'm Irish, although that would probably be debated back in Ireland. The accent, that is. Um, They'd say I wouldn't have an Irish accent. What would my being married to an American and after living so long in France? But, um, why, uh, yeah, so, uh, why did we come back uh, to the States? Um, because I just got here about three months ago, um, from France, where, uh, we, that's myself and my American wife, Kerry, uh, founded and ran La Muse, which is our writers and artists retreat in the south of France, a place near a town called Carcassonne. Uh, and we started La Muse uh, about 20 years ago, and it's still going strong, and we met a lot of cool people there, and made a lot of good friends. Um, but why did we leave France? Um, well, we left France and came to Maine, uh, to this area here, the Portland area of Maine, to be closer to our family, uh, specifically my wife's family, which which is my family. Um but also so our kids could get a better second-level education. Uh, Like most countries, the second-level education from 12 on, around 12 on, um, where they start to stream kids into different categories as such, um, is not what you might call helpful to the growth of a kid's creative potential. Um, And I'll get into school and education uh, a little later, especially how it touches on creativity. Um, so I don't want to digress into that. I want to keep to the specifics of this intro. So primarily, um, this podcast is, uh, which, uh, will be coming out or begin every, ter- begin on a Thursday and come out every second Thursday of the month. Uh, and then later, uh, weekly, um, I foresee it being weekly then, uh, as the support starts to increase. And so as I was saying, this podcast is going to, I start with Create, which is what I've tentatively called the book I've just finished at First Draft of. And as a lot of you probably know, First Drafts can be pretty shitty. Um, so say it on Lamott anyway. Uh, by the way, she's written a, um, a really good book uh, that's not shitty. <laughs> it's uh, called Bird by Bird. And it's a book on writing or on the craft of writing. And one of the chapters is actually called uh, Shitty First Draft. If I'm if I'm recalling correctly, um, I'm really sure it is. Um, but um, so uh, I hope that this create book will be an inspiration for this podcast, but also that it will work the other way too. That that this podcast would be an inspiration for the book and a way of kind of ironing out um, kinks of what I envision as a, a a short, sharp shock of a book. Uh, to to inspire people to create or just to be creative. Um, so why uh, why why do this? Uh, why is always the best question, isn't it? Um, you know, it gets to the, gets to the core of whatever it is that we're 
we're talking about. Um, and we continue to go from the why and keep asking the why. So why did I write this book and why am I doing this podcast? Um, well, quite simply to help, um, to be a service in some way to others. Um, um, and why, why do I have to go on about it then or go, go into this whole idea of creation? Um, what is it that I want other people to under, or understand, but, uh, just to be aware of? Um, it's, it's, it's basically that creation is not owned by artists and writers. And yes, uh, not everyone is an artist, uh, not everyone's a writer, but everyone is a creator. Um, we need, you know, m- surgeons, mechanics, bankers, um, uh, accountants and spiritual leaders and teachers, just as much as we need, uh, artists and writers. But this doesn't mean that um, people are not being creative when they're banking or accounting or uh, leading people spiritually. Because uh, when they practice what it is they love doing, um, and the fact that they're doing what they love, that means they they are creators. Um, A surgeon uses his hands just as deftly as an artist does um, when she's painting or when she's uh, dabbling with her palette. Uh, so basically, what I'm trying to say is creations for everyone. And we all create in different ways. And it's about changing our mindset about how that is viewed. So another example perhaps would be like um, or a mother creates a child. That's a very creative act. Um, an engineer creates a bridge. A philosopher creates an idea. Uh, and that's you and that's me and I don't care what a person's background is they're they're a creator and knowing you are creative is is empowering uh, if you uh, can just embrace it so to be a creator you don't have to write a book Uh, you don't have to paint you don't have to sculpt you don't have to be a Michelangelo or a Rodin Um, but simply create out of what you love. Um, and life gives us this wonderful opportunity to be creative in nearly everything that we do. But the systems or system itself puts us um, puts us down, you know. Uh, it grinds us it grinds us down uh, into or grinds us into believing uh, this this unspoken tenet uh, that creation is owned by artists and writers. When it's simply not. Um, so even the most simplistic of things, like the ceremony of tea uh, in the morning when you get up, or the repair of an engine when you get back from work, or um, or on the weekend, these these are very creative acts, and they're important to the people who create in those moments and in those spaces, uh, because it makes them feel good, uh, because they're doing something that they love. And so if we change our habits, uh, we see Everton as a creative opportunity from creating a cup of tea or repairing an, e- an engine uh, to repairing somebody's heart. So it's the same creten- um, creative um, potential. Um, it's the same creative fingers as an artist. And these creative acts are just as important as creating a watercolor or an aria whether you're singing it or writing it. And so creative acts are being uh, enacted every day, everywhere. So we have to break away from this systemic idea that that uh, creation's owned by artists and writers. Um, so hopefully I haven't bludgeoned that idea too much to that, um, or hopefully got across some of some kind of a, I suppose, thesis, or I don't really like that academic word, but uh, this idea of what, or why I'm doing this podcast, um, I'm sure it'll resurface in different ways through concepts and ideas over the course of these Thursday episodes. Um, so, um, so the podcast is simply my understanding uh, from over 20 years of interacting with other creators at our retreat um, and learning from my own experience as well. 
um, as well um, just to be aware of my own experience is is somewhat colored by the fact that I'm white I'm Irish and uh, have a couple of degrees you know so I'm coming at this with my own prejudices like anyone would um, but hopefully I don't fall into um, you know a trap of talking too much about you know white white European males um, as examples of uh, of these different concepts and ideas, so um, which would take away from my love for people like Emily Dickinson and Mary Wollenscraft or Malala Yousafzai. Uh, I can I can never recall how to I don't know how to say her second name uh, correctly. I don't know how to speak Pakistani, but um, we all know who Malala is anyway. Um, or uh, yeah, so. Um, or any of the other wonderful women uh, I've met in my life or uh, been inspired by, you know, like somebody like Mary Wollenscraft or some. Um, so, so basically, what I'm, uh, so what I'm trying to say, or what I'm talking about, or what I'm, um, is that I'm, is that what I'm trying to say is that it it, all, it comes from my heart. All of this is coming from my heart, and it's coming from a um, uh, this place of service. Um, irrespective of whatever my background is and my um, so, uh, but obviously um, I I won't be able to cover large swaths of civilization and as I can only relay what I've learned from my own experience and the experiences of others. So uh, this podcast will uh, journey through my own understanding of creation um, and uh, oh yeah, there's another thing as well. Um, so, uh, this is not a podcast of theories, just mentioned thesis there, you know, I kind of try to shy away from academic wording, but, uh, although I'm, I'm, I'm well interested in, um, hearing other viewpoints and angles of looking at things, and it's very important to see things from a different perspectives, but, um, the academic, uh, theorizing is not my deal, um, and so added to that, um, there's also this, um, you know this theoretical idea of creativity um that's for others to talk about or write about or so um i'm more into practical applications like notebooks um, and i'm not creating this kind of mystery around creativity and you know it's like oh it just came out of the sky or something you know this kind of thing it's like oh how'd you write your book uh oh it just kind of came to me well things just don't come to you you know they do in a certain sense but there's a lot of other stuff uh, like notebooks and awareness and awareness of a craft and awareness of inspiration and that I want to talk about um, that are directly applicable uh, practical applications as opposed to this theoretical uh, creativity in inverted commas, you know. That's why I kind of shy away from that word a bit. Um, also... Um, uh, on the same on the same wavelength uh, or somewhat um adjacent to that uh, region of thinking or uh would be um you know left and right side of the brain activity and all that um uh, what kind of parts of the brain lights up and all that where you where in the brain is being affected uh, that's not my domain as they say back in france um most of what um would be in this podcast uh, comes from, as I said before, my own experiences um, or from books that I've come across, but mainly from uh, the painters and inventors, musicians, healers, academics, uh, novelists, or even venture capitalists and business people um, and poets and just all of these people that came to our retreat to write, um, and it didn't matter what they were writing, uh, whether it was a, a business plan or a novel or singing an aria or um, a folk song, you know. We, that was one thing we were always very proud of. Us. We never discriminated um, uh, creatively. You know, you could be coming to just do your crochet, you know. Um, once you're coming to create and you were uh, looking for that space to do so. So we welcomed anyone who wanted to create or, you know, uh, whether it's designing jewellery or taking photos or dancing, you know. And so uh, from that rich diversity um, of creators, it, it created a very 
we had these very rich conversations, you know, um, and that could be like um, at a three hour book break. We, we used to have every retreat where we talk about the books that inspired people um, to create and create our inspiring books from where they're from. Um, or it could be, you know, uh, long conversations we used to have in the truck going up and down the mountain um, and all these different types of people from all over the world. And, uh, or it could be, or it could be just sitting on the terrace watching, uh, the, the Eirondel, these mad swallows, uh, swooping while you're drinking a glass of wine, you know. So, um, or it could just be simply sitting beside the fire in the library, you know. So, just trying to decompress from the day of creating, you know. So these conversations kept coming back to the same kind of language, uh, or the same themes and concepts. It didn't matter what what the creator was, you know, um, or who the creator was, um, what they, what they were working on, which was beautiful to realize because it showed me or shows that there, there are universal ideas on, on process and craft and distractions and creators or uh, black sheep, you know, um, there's so many of these ideas that are that are uh, shared, you know, like uh, there's other stuff like freedom and all these things that I want to address in the podcast, you know, and talk about uh, like walls and perfection and all the myths and lies that we're told um, uh, about rejection and failure. And then just difference, you know, um, and comfort zones and capitalism. That's probably going to be a long one. Um and much more, and, and how they all apply to creation. And, of course, each one of these things I'll talk about in future episodes. And at the end, uh, after also talking about, you know, um, talent and genius, or, you know, this this idea they have as screenwriters talk about it, especially uh, Dark Nights of the Soul, or um, emotional memory, or a word that one of my a dear friend of mine calls bush jumping. Uh, which is very funny, but uh, I'll get into that later on. So there's many of these um, uh, these things, such as, you know, uh, well, I don't want to keep giving you a litany here or a list, but, um, you know, and hopefully I'll, I'll probably end it all on benevolence, which is something that I think there's it's a great lack of. Um, so um, I'll try and make them as succinct and digestible as... Uh, as I possibly can, and then obviously uh, edit them down into a version of, or a version of my rants. Uh, there's a dog barking in the background there. Um, hopefully you just don't hear that. I have to edit it out. But anyway, so yeah, so the digestible version of my rants will go into 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 this book that I'm I've tentatively called uh, Create. So um, yeah, so it's not going to be just artists and writers, but um. You know, every kind of creator, you know, uh, that has influenced my thinking or uh, understanding of what creation is or what it is to create. You know, it could be, you know, creative business people or architects or teachers, you know. Um, And all the other creators I mentioned that inspired this podcast. Um, It's because it's their broadness of perspective, you know, that helped me realize all the creative things we, we, we all have in common. So, and I just as an aside there, actually, now that I think of it, yeah, a lot of the writers and artists that used to come to re- on retreat were actually teachers. And um, these people, you know, they teach our children, um, uh, are oftentimes going, they, they go on retreats to paint or to write a book or, you know, and they go back to the States or England or, Ireland or us, um, wherever, uh, to inspire creativity or creation in, in children. So when they go away in a retreat, should be applauded, you know. People should be applauded when they try to get away to create. doesn't matter if they're going on a retreat or they're just trying to get away to a B&B for a couple of days. Or So it's not just teachers. Um, so I'll get into, into that later, uh, too, in an episode on retreats, maybe with some tips about retreats and... Um, yeah, so teachers and people who go away to create are, um, they can bring a really positive energy back to how 
um, they educate us and then educate and inspire children too to to become creative business people or novelists or academics or surgeons or you know it, it doesn't have to necessarily be the kids you know it's, it's like inspire their spouses and friends to create too so um uh, so I can't say I know everything about creation, but uh, it has been cool to listen to all these divergent voices on it and to see the things that are always the same, you know, like process and blocks or walls, as I call them, uh, and all these other things that I'll get into. And of course, later on, uh, that's why I'll, I'll be interviewing other people for more information or uh, different ways of looking at these concepts and ideas and themes and to give more ideas and inspiration uh, to myself and, and to you guys. Um, so, and just to, um, you know, cement the idea ideas behind creation. So I'll start interviewing creators um, that I met and became friends with over the years at our retreat, as well as um, some of the, you know, inspiring people I've been meeting from around here. I've only been here a couple of months and I've already met some pretty cool people uh, in the Portland area in Maine. Um, so, uh, this podcast, um, let's see, I think that's about it. Um, I kind of said that it's, you know, it's about what I've learned uh, from and what I'm still learning from other creators and then from my own experience as an author, um, understanding walls and such and the blocks of the creation. Um, so hopefully this podcast, um, and the future edited book will be helpful and hopefully be especially helpful for that young man about 25 years ago who he thought he knew everything in his 20s when he came out of university in uh, Dublin. You know, that young young man being me. Uh, I, like, I wish I'd had someone to talk to me about process and craft and all the wonderful tools and tips of uh, creation and uh, to, uh, um, understanding of what creation is or, and how to go about it, you know. Um, so, so this is my way of maybe talking to that young man and giving back and being a service to other people in some way who want to create but think it's too daunting, you know. Oh, that's for other people, you know, which is uh, ridiculous because it's not. It's for everyone, as I said at the outset, you know. So um, each episode will stand alone and um, be independent of the previous or following ones. Well, the podcast as a whole will will have its own arc, you know, or uh, purpose and uh, an, uh, an arc of uh, content like addressing like internal and uh, you know external issues, um, but not uh, but not in any uh, distancing kind of academic way. I hope anyway. Um, and at the same time, I feel it uh, important to provide some kind of generalized uh, perspective on these systemic issues, albeit they. Um, you know whether whether it's uh, cultural or social or economic, because the context in which creativity happens, especially from access to aesthetics, which is not usually addressed in a straightforward way, um, or access to the opportunity to create, or even to think of creation as something that is for everyone. Um, so uh, each episode will have a key concept or concepts um, and language because. Yeah, language is uh, very important. Um, as I said that, I think I said that before, um, but um, it's this idea that I, uh, I call a lexical presence, or at least um, um, the way language can in, in, um, imprison us in ways of uh, thinking uh, when we don't have access to um, a language uh, to think outside that language. And I could get into that later on, but... Um, and with examples and so I, I'm going to try and put in a uh, human being examples you know so it's not a uh, just just uh, words and um, me babbling on you know it's so it's got something to do with uh, personal experiences because that's where we you know we can really um, understand things better is by uh, having a tangible example well, whether it's from my own experience or from other people's you know other creators and hopefully each one of them will encourage you guys to create, um, as it has encouraged me to continue to create. So uh, in the next episode, I think that's, yeah, 
uh yeah this is it yeah that's 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 about enough uh for an introduction i think um uh not sure how long this is running maybe they're going on for about 25 minutes now i think um so um so in the next episode i'm going to go uh, start talking about family and villains you know and then the idea of friends and spouses are in relation to family but uh so friend uh family and villains and then perhaps get into schooling and perhaps even talk about uh a creator and what it actually is to be one um or what uh, the definition of one is although uh maybe that'd be a following episode because uh, depending on how long the episode's going um so maybe the next one will be a bit longer or about the same length um so i'm sure the interviews will be much longer um but that won't be until a little bit later on and as i won't be able to be i won't be asking them about you know just one concept you know like um walls or uh process but it'll be about all concepts because um i want people to be able to get into what inspires them to create you know the books that got them going or got them inspired and their yes their process but all the other concepts too that i mentioned that i'm going to be elaborating on as i go along so um so thanks for uh, listening, and I started with a quote from an um, American novelist, uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna end um, and, uh, yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna end on a uh, uh, on an Irish proverb. Maybe this is what I'll do at each pro each um, podcast at the end, just end it on a proverb because you know I'm well into the uh, Irish proverbs, um, and uh, so this one. The one that's coming to me, uh, this one, uh, it, it literally means the, um, the weather or, or the time is a good storyteller. You know, the, the way that the weather changes, so does the story, depending on, you know, context and stuff. And anyway, it's one that I've always loved. Um, and so in modern terms, I suppose it would mean something like, uh, time will tell, you know. Um, so it's, it's ma on scaly on I'm sure. So again, that's a ismah and shkeli on I'm sure. There. Um, so this podcast uh, is supported by you, the listener, via my Patreon page. Uh, if you want to support the podcast and help me get a wage uh, for doing it, because that's how I see this podcast. It's as a job, you know. Um, uh, so it's uh, one I love doing. Um, and that's why I'm doing it, you know. That's why it's creative, because uh, I love doing it as i said earlier so um if you want to support the podcast um please head over to patreon.com uh, forward slash uh, john fanning and that's a j-o-h-n-f-a-n-n-i-n-g and uh you can get early and um hopefully ad free access there put, uh, hopefully i put them up on a wednesday um put the podcast up on a wednesday there first as well as extra episodes and hopefully reading out uh, one of my novels or in future novels and other extra um, episodes. So if you can afford it, then uh, give me the, if you can give me the cost of a price of a cup of tea or a pint, a pint of Guinness or something like that once a month. Um, and if you can't, if you can't afford it, then that's grand too. You know, you can listen for free. But uh, please just say, if you don't, there are, if you do, uh, please leave a review on iTunes or whatever it is, because that's you know what most other people get to know about the podcast. Because word of mouth is the most powerful thing. So, um, so thank you and uh, thanks for listening and uh, thanks for supporting the podcast if you do. And oh yeah, and if you're looking uh, for the episodes, uh, you can always find them on in the usual places like iTunes or on my website at johnfannon.me. Uh, under podcast, uh, I think it's, yeah, under podcast. So I'll put I'll put up an overview, the transcripts and times, uh, uh, with links uh, to all the people and ideas I mention. Um, and if you're into the social stuff and all that, um, you can engage with me one on one. Uh, if you check out my Twitter, which is at uh, Fanning underscore J, and on Instagram at John Fanning uh, underscore. So it's been uh, great uh, sharing stuff with you today uh, and until next time in uh, about two weeks or maybe I'll put the next one up uh, soon, the first one, first uh, uh, concept um, episode up quicker. Uh, try to take care of yourself and 
Uh, be benevolent when you can with other people. Shalom, lad. Uh, August uh, Ganairi on Boharlat. <laughs>